Hi, I'm Ulysse and this is our 15-year-old Weimar runner. Titan has what they call a bilateral proprioceptive stall, which you can find out more information about if you just click the hyperlink in my article below. But um, I'm here to talk to you today about Titan's stool incontinence, which is um, just because of his age and how we deal with that. So initially when Titan was diagnosed about three years ago, the stool incontinence uh, was hardly there at all. Like most of the time he could get outside and you wouldn't really know any different. However, because this has now progressed and we're three years later, um, unfortunately often it happens in the house now. So we have a specific regime to deal with this and there's hopefully some tips and tools that I can share with you today that if you find yourself in a similar situation as your dog ages, hopefully it will help you out a little bit as well. So the first thing I'm going to mention is you can see in Titan's bed here that his bed sheets are pretty basic. They're basically just old bed sheets that we had around the house that we don't use anymore. So we've donated to him and there's even a pillow in there for his comfort. Um, do I believe in the orthopedic dog beds? Yes, I do. Um, just if you don't have to wash them every day. We are literally doing wash for Titan every day. Um, but aside from that, the orthopedic dog beds are very good quality. And if your dog's um, if your dog's situation is joint or bone related or even muscle related, for sure the orthopedic dog beds are the way to go because they do help relieve pressure off bony prominences and they do help support um, bones and joints and muscles. So, you know, for things like hip dysplasia and other muscular disorders, musculoskeletal stuff, that the orthopedic dog beds are excellent. But for Titan, because we are doing the wash so often, uh, we find that this is what's working well for us at this point in time. So again, you'll see that it's quite bulky here. We do have quite a few bed sheets in here to help try to relieve the pressure on his bony prominences to the best that we can without getting into like medical support. Um, along with that, we also always have an extra set of bed sheets on hand for the times that we are doing the wash so that he's never left without enough cushioning in his bed. Um, the other things that we use is this vacuum here. It's just a dirt devil vacuum. You can probably find it almost anywhere. Um, but we find it especially good because even though Titan does not look like he sheds, he sheds quite a bit. Um, and this vacuum has a lot of good things about it that really help deal with the shedding um, and help us out with that and keep our house clean from the dirt and dander that comes with pets. Um, and then this vacuum here is the Hoover Max Extractor and this is a steam vacuum and we find this is one of the key components to helping keep our house clean and uh, works very, very well. Um, I don't know if you can see a lot of the carpet right now, but it is a beige wall-to-wall -wall carpet, uh, which has been in which has been in this house for about four, almost five years, and we use it quite regularly, like almost every day, and sometimes several times a day. And you can't even see areas of high traffic. You know, it's normal for dogs to have oils on their fur and bring in a lot of dirt on a daily basis and our carpets have been well protected from uh, from you know dog wear and tear because of these uh, these vacuums basically so we vacuum first and then we steam clean unless we are looking at picking up uh, you know a specific spot then we can just go straight with the with the steam cleaner so hopefully those tips do help you out a little bit um, and that's, that's what we do now for Titan to help keep the house clean so that we can enjoy ourselves and enjoy our dog on a daily basis. Thank you.